Hi there. So when you have a virtual party, generally they run through Facebook. And even when you have an in-home party, very often those are promoted through Facebook. And so I'm gonna show you how to get that set up today. First of all, you have a couple of options when setting up a, a party on Facebook. It can either be through an event or through a group. I recommend a group for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you use a posting service like Post My Party, <clears throat> that's gonna automatically post for you day in and day out, they will only post to groups, not events. Also, even if you don't have a service like that, when you have a group, you can pre-post. Um, pre okay, you can go in there, set up a post, and then date and time it. So you can take a Sunday evening in front of the television and just pre-post for the next few days. Easy peasy. The other um, benefit of a group is that if you've got a party and it runs on a certain day or you're gonna go live on a certain day and you've, you've got that date in there, once that date has passed, people can still get into the group. However, if you set up an event and you have a date, as soon as that date passes, the event is then gone from people's news feeds. They actually have to go into their calendar to past events in order to access that event, including the shopping link. Okay, so for all those reasons, uh, we definitely recommend that you set up your parties and promote them through groups. Okay, so I'm going to do a little screen share and show you how I do that. Okay, so this is my, my Facebook page and I'm just in here and I clicked on home. Okay, so on the left here, you see a thing, watch my cursor, it's on groups or events, okay? I wanna set up a group, so I'm just gonna click that. And then I'm gonna click create group. All right, and then you just fill it in. What do you wanna call your group? Um, if you're doing a kickoff party, say, um, you know, Mary Sue's Pampered Chef kickoff launch or Mary Sue's, you know, launch, party or whatever. You do need to add some people right away, but they are gonna see it right away. So maybe add a spouse or one best friend or your recruiter who might be helping you with this party. If you are doing virtual parties and you, you're, um, you've got lots of hosts, name the group after the host, okay? That way it's easy for you to find the group afterwards. If you just say virtual pamper chef party, well, if you've got four or five of them running, it's gonna be hard for you to keep track of whose party is whose. So you name it after the host and say, Mary Sue's um, May virtual party, Becky's May virtual pamper chef party, whatever. So you just name them with the host and that way when you're looking through your groups, you can quickly say, yep, this is the, the show I wanna be on. And you can just click right into it. After you have filled, it, um, now the privacy setting I use as is private members only can see okay you don't want to make this public because as you are doing multiple parties um, if you've got them all public every single one of them is going to show up in your news feed and people might get kind of sick of that um, so leave it as private and then for visibility yes anyone can find this group so that's the settings the defaults there are what you want and then just click click to create uh, once you do that, there's going to be, well, why don't I just set up a fake one? Karen's launch. Okay, add some people. I'm going to add my husband. He'll be thrilled. Okay, Eric Batty. Boom. Th these are the settings I want. Now I'm going to create. Okay, so here I am in this new group. So the first thing you can do is upload a photo. So I want to show you where I get 90% of um, the images that I use. I'm going to go on to Consultants Corner. Okay, once you go to Pampered Chef and you sign in, um, and then you click on Consultants Corner, this is what you're going to see. Dash, that's where you get all that training. Yeah, okay, so now on the left-hand side, I want to click on Marketing Imagery. Click on that, and you will see here all these different categories. Featured this month, promotions, plan a party, all of that. Now, when I just want generic information for a month, okay, I'm gonna type in April, because it's April right now, and I'm just gonna do a search, and it's going to bring up um, all of the images that have to do with the month of April, okay? 
first of all, we've got some kitchen helpers that are on special. We've got an order form. We've got the host bonus. We've got um, a guest special down here. Um, some of them are flyers. It'll tell you if it's a flyer that's printable or um, a cover, like a cover picture, April guest cover you'll see there. So that's all here for us. So that's what you do if you just want everything associated with a month. But let's say you're planning a party. Okay, so let's um, click on that, plan a party. So the first thing it says here is cover images. So you click on that and it has all of these different options for things that we can use as cover images for our parties. So you're just gonna download one that you like and then um, put it into the group that you just set up. Okay, so where's my group? Karen's launch. So um, I can upload a photo. Okay, I have all these photos that, that I've already saved. Um, so you can save it to your desktop or to a file and then access it there. You just click to upload it. So let's say I just wanna click on this one that says virtual event because I want everybody to know they're not coming to my house. So I add it in there and I click save. All right, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a welcome post, okay? So you're gonna welcome people to the party. You're gonna tell them a little bit of what it's all about. Um, I'm not gonna go into details on this because you can definitely get wording for that in many outlines that we've got available. All right, I just wanna tell you that, you know, you type up your welcome post, la 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 la, type what you want, put in a nice image with it or uh, the, the link for ordering on the party, okay? And then once you post it, like so, you want to make sure this welcome post stays at the top of the group. Otherwise, as you post, this welcome one will go down to the bottom. As new people sign in, they might not um, kind of understand what's going on. So after you create the welcome post, see these three dots over here? You're gonna click on that and you're gonna mark it as an announcement. Okay, and that means this welcome post is now gonna stay at the top of this event. So all the details for shopping, um, the link for ordering is all gonna be there. So as people come into the group and other things get posted on top of it, everybody's gonna see this post first every single time they come in, okay? Um, once you're ready, you can start inviting your friends. You just put your clicker on here and now you can see all your friends in here and then just click, click, click to invite them. So I wanna tell you that success in the virtual world um, is mainly kind of a numbers game. Um, a really good goal is you want at least 30 people at, um, that, that click to be members. And I tell my hosts in order to get 30 to click that they're members, you gotta invite about 90. And I say, how do you feel about that? Most people have at least 90 friends on Facebook and they don't have a problem with it. Um, so if they invite 90, um, they, with, with some coaching tips, they will probably get 30 attending. When you have 30 attending, probably 10 to 12 will place orders. That's just kind of the numbers that, that, that are, they're almost as predictable as clockwork. Okay, so this is how you just click to invite. Click, 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 you just in, you know, click on all these people and poof, they're invited. And there you go, you're off and running. All right, so um, congratulations. If you're a brand new consultant and doing a kickoff or if you're someone who's just you know, venturing into a new phase of your business with using these groups, good luck. If you've got questions, let me know.